I can remember very clearly, uh, Coach Fritz came in and said, I've got a fantastic player from uh, Blinn Junior College where Coach Fritz used to coach. And uh, all of a sudden he put on the film. And I, I very vividly remember there's this young defensive end closing down fast enough to on the dive portion of the option to make the quarterback pull it. And then all of a sudden I see the same kid chasing the quarterback. And he forces the quarterback to pitch the ball to the pitch man and then he tackles the pitch man for a two yard loss. So I saw this guy, defensive end, go ahead and stop all three phases of the option. I said, yeah, we need to take a look at him very seriously. First day that he was out there, we knew he was going to play a little faster speed. He had good strength, didn't really like the way around, but his country strength, I like to call it, you know, and he, he was, you know, you have guy twice the size trying to block him, and he just, you know, whip him on the line of scrimmage and push him back, you know, so just a great combination of speed, you know, quickness, and strength. It's still in the history books of D-line. Uh, Rod has the highest production play of any defensive lineman, and that was he rushed the passer, got a sack, forced the fumble, recovered the fumble himself, picked it up and ran it in for a touchdown. So he did all the different things that you need to do, and uh, he, he uh, was resilient in his effort towards the football, and I was amazed every day. He's definitely one of the best players I ever coached. Uh -huh. You know, not only was he a great defensive end, he also was very, very productive for us in, in the kicking game. You know, we had, I, every once in a while I had him out there as a, what people call a gunner, you know, covering punts. And you remember one time we were playing in the, the corner on our sideline, we was responsible for not letting him get down the field. And his eyes were about as big as silver dollars when he saw Rod trying out there as, as a gunner. He did, did a great job in a lot of different phases. Just a fantastic player. Rod was uh, picked up by the, the, the Ravens in the in, uh, fifth round, and uh, that was the highest uh, draftee that uh, we had had uh, here at the University of Central Missouri. Well, I got a phone call from their defensive line coach at Baltimore about a week into their camp. They said, Coach, I just want to give you a call. Rod, uh, today we were doing pass rush drill. And he ran right over the top of Jonathan Ogden, who is maybe one of the greatest offensive tackles in the history of the NFL. He's about six foot eight, 340 pounds, and he moves around like a cat. You know, and Rod just got under his pads and ran over the top of him. Rod, to this day, talks about the influence and the effect that uh, Ray Lewis has on each and every player that's a part of that program. You know, you're talking about names like Terrell Suggs. Uh, then, all of a sudden, he goes over to San Francisco uh, and gets picked up as a free agent by San Francisco. And who's over there but uh, Mike Singletary? Rod, very proud of you. Did a fantastic job for the Mules in Central Missouri, and you are very deserving of this honor. Congratulations. Rod Green, congratulations on the induction of the University of Central Missouri Hall of Fame. You're an outstanding player, a joy to coach, and a friend for life.